Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Take a look, it's in a book. away was one that I was really excited to see if I had actually got the chance to see it in theaters and I did not. It of course was one of the best-selling books of last year. Marcus Zusak's book turned film The Book Thief, boldly directed by Brian Percival, and it's basically the story of a young girl who is asked to live with an adoptive mother and father. During this time, of course, it's Nazi-occupied Germany, and there is a big war going on, as well as a couple of other things that most German civilians are not too sure of, or possibly are sure of, and this little girl, through discovery, finds her calmness and her refuge in books and because of the fact that the German regime was very against knowledge and through that created a lot of book burning ceremonies which are very well known throughout history this girl goes through the trouble to recover as many books as she possibly can in order to keep this knowledge alive and gather as much knowledge as she can to make herself a better person this was a very good movie it wasn't great but it definitely was something that I appreciated. From an acting standpoint, I loved the girl who was chosen to play Liesel, and my favorite part of this movie was Jeffrey Rush. He was just thrown into here, and whenever Jeffrey Rush does something, he always comes out doing something wonderful. I've seen him in so many different roles, from Captain Barbosa in Pirates of the Caribbean, to... Ephraim in Steven Spielberg's Munich, and even as Nigel the Pelican from Finding Nemo, so he definitely has a way of doing good things with his acting talent. And Emily Watson, who played his wife, also did a wonderful job. And it was a very interesting movie because I have learned about World War II many times. We all have. We learn about all this stuff in a certain way, and we all know that there's so much that takes place within this time period, and not just the Holocaust. This is a very interesting interpretation of World War II because it's about plain German civilians living in this time period and trying to figure out how to handle it. Whether there are families that are proud to have hung the Nazi flag in their doorways or were afraid to even open their mouths because they were afraid of persecution by Hitler. And even there were some that had a good heart and chose to do what was right by harboring refugees, Jewish and non, during the Nazi-occupied times. I appreciated the whole story, I appreciated the characters, I absolutely loved that you felt that Liesel was growing up throughout the movie because it does take place from a certain amount of time, but probably the biggest surprise in this movie is the voice and the narration of Roger Alam because you hear him talking in pieces of the movie and yet at the end you actually find out who his voice is represents, and it's quite surprising, but at the same time, it's kind of predictable. But either way, it was a very good look at World War II, and I really appreciated the fact that someone chose to turn this book into a film, and it definitely got the credit that it deserved, but I do maybe believe it deserved a little bit more, but it definitely got the critical acclaim that it deserved. So I am going to give the book Thief 3 out of 4. Again, it's not perfect, but... The story is very rich, I appreciated the characters, but it just didn't have that something that made it perfect. So, let me know what you guys thought, if you actually saw the book Thief, or you actually read the book Thief. And I want to leave you guys with a question, because I have not asked anybody a question in quite some time. This One That Got Away segment, I am torn as to what I want to look at in the final month of 2014. I had the opportunity to see... Gravity and Dallas Buyers Club. Please put in the comment box below which of those two movies do you think is worth seeing over the other. And who, whatever wins is the one that will be reviewed in the One That Got Away episode in December. Thanks for watching, guys. Always a pleasure. Actions speak louder than words.